Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for February the 16th through the 22nd, 2015. So let's just take a moment, and this has just been a very powerful week last week working with the romance angels so much information has come through uh, even on the the daily card messages and so if you haven't had a chance to go there please go to the facebook page which you will find in the description link below but there, this is such a time of a great time of transformation and evolution for us all and so much is coming through and so much change within ourselves is being made as it is allowing for those changes to be reflected outside of ourselves and what we're really connecting into and what we're really anchoring at this time which is going to create that possibility, infinite possibility for the realization of your truth is the frequency of divine love. And I just love to share with you right now in the meditation preceding this reading that I was visited by the angel of divine love, Venus. And she was explaining to me the reason for her presence and the difference between her and um, Aphrodite, that they're not um, exactly the same. Aphrodite is the goddess of love dealing with uh, the physical love, the physical um, pleasures, uh, the love between romantic love, etc. But um, Venus was explaining that she is a cherubim and is one of the angels of divine love. She represents the angels of divine love. And I was quite shocked because she kept showing me her wings. And so, but she introduced herself through the symbol of her, of the heart. So this is a um, very important aspect because we're learning now and what she's here to teach us is how to love ourselves and how to take pleasure in our own divine truth and our divine love to, to share this love in every aspect of our life that this high vibration of divine love is what we are now aiming to embody. This is our goal. And if you call upon her to surround you with her frequency of divine love and to pour this divine love embodiment into your being through the crown of your head into the chakra systems and into the earth and affirming that I am divine love. I am divine love. And as you repeat this inwardly, that your soul is divine love, you will feel the clearing effects of embracing this truth. And this was like receiving it. And she's showing me her wings again, a gift from the cherubim realm of angels that will help you to embrace divine love and embody divine love, which will raise your vibration and frequency or shift your relationships, not only with one another in personal relationships with your partner, but all aspects of your life. And this is very uh, important and essential at this time to work with this 
Venus in this realm of angels, the cherubims. Okay. So let's just uh, take a moment here. And she's right in it. You're on the right track. And she wrote the word back. So I feel like that she's saying that you're on the right track. And either something is coming back to you as you move forward. So she's saying, don't, don't worry about certain things that are concerning you right now, that you're on the right track. Even if it seems like you're taking a step back, and this is what I really felt like the word back in this week was referring to, if it feels like you're taking a, a step back, don't worry, she's saying, because this is going to open you up to clarity. I'm hearing that word. It's going to give you, it's going to open you up to more clarity about many things. And so if you've been feeling as though you've, that you've been going and pursuing something that you knew you were guided to do, but you feel like you're taking, you kind of somehow went backwards or you took a step back, that step back is like going to give you a chance to see things more clearly. It's almost like you were standing too close and now you need, when you step back, you can get a, a better view. So think of it that, feeling of stepping back is just giving you a better view and it's a way for you to perceive the changes that are actually happening that you were standing too close and you couldn't see the changes so no worries here is what she's saying no worries whatsoever okay all right so let's take a moment now to look at the Archangel Oracle card for this week. Okay, interesting. Life review. And this is the Archangel Yermiel. And it says, take inventory of your life. So that's really uh, speaking to what Venus was uh, just speaking about, which is that this is, you know, you're, you're taking a step back. You may feel like you're taking a step back, but it's actually giving you a chance to see the whole or the true picture for yourself of what you what you've been aiming for all right it says take an inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced and i feel like what we're looking what we're going to be noticing is what's not in alignment with love for you, speaking about that divine love, that that frequency of alignment, what what is what is not embodying for you your truth, and this is a good thing to be able to see what that is because those changes are helping to are helping you to see. I'm feeling the word support once it comes through my mouth. So there are changes that the angels are supporting you and God is supporting you through um, a series of changes. And that they just want you to know that the changes are okay. Know that you're supported. Tap into that support of heavenly love and ask for the peace that passes under all understanding so that you will immediately have it. Don't just get stuck in the in what's going wrong. Ask for help this week. Okay? All right, let's take a look at the card for um, the beginning of the of the week. And we have the page of water. Okay. So the page of water is indicating that some message, an intuitive message or an emotional uh, piece is going to come up for you 
that is going to be information that you will be able to use. So to help you to discover something. So this could be, all right, this could be something about your, and since the page, uh, this is the, the, the originally the page of cups, so this could be about relationships. Um, this could be about romantic relationships. You could get an invitation or someone may make um, an overture of love to you. Um, this could be something that comes from your own, a message coming from your inner being, okay, the, the love in your heart. And so you may get some clarity or emotional clarity, some kind of, um, I get a feeling, a sense of release, something that, that will give you a boost. It could be something that has to do with your um, artistic, you know, or your goals in your career, um, something of an artistic nature. It could be a creativity or some kind of creative expression. But I'm just getting the feeling that you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Uh, um, a message that's going to come through for you that's going to um, really sort of be pleasant for you. Now, this card also indicates uh, heightened psychic abilities. So this could also be, again, like I was saying, that information that comes from your soul. So some insights that will give you a clear feeling indication of what steps to take or how to um, some possibly get those insights that will allow you to take that step back that gives you that bigger picture. Okay, so some kind of revelation or information, deep insights will come through. Let me just take a look and see what um, message the angels have. There is a sense of you standing taller, um, a sense of something, a, a more confidence. I am seeing um almost felt like two people were bumping into each other were going in different directions and kind of cross paths so and that this could have a, a potential uh, romantic indication um also there is the feeling of spiritual growth okay and this is a new symbol for me, but what I'm seeing is a tr my symbol of a tree, which usually represents higher consciousness and the connection. And what I saw for the first time was a face um, coming out of the, 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 the branches, which represents the higher consciousness, and then coming down through the trunk. So there's that sense that you may get, that there may be some kind of expansion for you um, in terms of your spiritual evolution and connection with your higher consciousness. It almost feels like you, your information descending from your higher consciousness that you're going to anchor. Now how that information anchors, and they're writing God, from God to you and how you, you how it's going to end up being used. It could be that you may end up being the messenger for others this week, bringing enlightenment from your newly integrated integration with your higher consciousness. I've, I've been experiencing a lot of this myself, so I can only imagine that we are here together because we have a, have a uh, purpose that we're fulfilling and that we are bringing forth together um, this kind of um, information and experience of our own ascension process. So this could be also you being that person for others. Okay, let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. All right, now we have the emperor. So... This card usually speaks to 
um, the that represents that the father or the the masculine energy, and uh, that the left brain, the the structure, the the logic, but also that stability and connectedness, that strength. So let me just tune into this card and just see. And what I'm kind of feeling is that there's some connection between these two cards in the sense that you in this week may f begin to feel like um, a, a stability, an anchoring, a groundedness, a centeredness in your, in your um, connectedness or your integration with your, with your higher consciousness. You may feel like there's more stability um, that you are anchoring in the divine, the, the will of the divine creator. So that, that, that information, that, that um, structure that sets up and enables is like an anchor support for stabilizing the, 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 the divine feminine aspect. So there's more of this masculine energy, this strength that's building a foundation for you to build a platform for your intuitive awareness. So I feel like there's this connection between these two cards about this, that you're going to be, as we have the Archangel Michael here, I'm just getting a sense from him that you're going to be more uh, fearless um, and that you will have a sense and a knowing of your purpose and the role that you play. And, and I, I'm getting a hearing that you're going to be making a decision about the role that you want to, to play and instead of being sort of sideswiped by the collective consciousness and just kind of getting caught up in that ego consciousness and, you know, just it's kind of all like, you know, um, creating by default where you'll be more of a deliberate creator. And I think it's interesting, too, that the Archangel Michael has here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, electric guitar here. So, you know, we see it's a sword, but this this creativity of music. So, there's, there, again, this balance, okay, between, you know, his sort of light truth and authority um, and meaning that he's you're stepping into your own power and your own uh, spiritual authority and embracing that spiritual authority along with the, the the intuitive abilities and and being strong in that as well and being more clear let me take a look and see what I I'm getting from the angels and get in a sense again yes that masculine energy and um, manifestation okay that um, that you may in this week also have a sense of either that some aspects of what you've been trying to manifest will start to anchor and become more concrete in your experiences and that you will have more confidence. So they want you to kind of be on the lookout. Don't get too caught up with your ego. Just trust. Okay. Trust very much the work that you've been doing. Trust the plans that you've made. They're saying that you're on the right path towards the abundance. And so whatever plans you're making at, in the middle of the week... The, these plan, this represents that those plans are solid and that they will yield an abundance. So if there's any kind of business deals or contracts that are being uh, made in these, the middle of the week, then trust that this is a go, okay? That this is going to be secure and stable for you. And don't be afraid, okay? Let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. Okay, we have another major arcana card, and we have the awakening. And usually this is the um, the hangman. So, but here, 
there's a sense that the card is labeled awakening. So again, and this kind of fits in with the life review card as well. The the idea of the hangman is is that it's a period where you know things are kind of upside down, but it gives you a chance to see things from a different angle. You know, we're always looking at things from the right side up, and sometimes it's good to look at things upside down so that you can see something that you may have missed. So one of the things about this is, you know, that you may need want to take a different approach in order to have the right ideas. This is what they're saying. Take a different approach in order to find the right ideas that are the right fit for what you're really trying to accomplish. And as you're getting really much, very much acquainted, reacquainted with what you're really trying to accomplish and trying to, um, then you, you, you see, you see the light, so to speak. Okay. So let me just tune into this card and see if there are any additional messages here. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I almost feel like I was looking at a, a toy carousel and a toy car sitting on a toy pedestal. And there's a feeling like one, okay, that you need to be more playful in your approach um, or else, you know, you just keep going around in circles and it's like you're not going to really be playing in the real world of the major leagues until you kind of lighten up and shift that the way you see things and let go of some of your your the seriousness you know you is that you take yourself a little too seriously and then you actually create you a, a block and it's almost like the the feeling is is that your inner child, your, the ego, has you dredging up inner child work, and that that's you know not the the you need to be aware that you may be allowing something from your past to influence the present, which is very real, and there are possibilities there. So, um, but you're going to connect in. And what I really feel like is, you know, allow, trust this. If you can trust the information that you're going to be receiving and integrate this information, allow it to be, you know, ground and cent stay centered and, and ground and anchor in this, this information then this will be an awakening. You will feel like you, like you're in, an, in another respect in this card, you'll feel like your your whole world has changed truly for the better. So there's a possibility that you could end up getting stuck and don't let this ego thing from your, you know, something that's coming up from the inner child get in the way. So the best thing to do is have a very playful approach. There's a lot of information, different angles about this card. Isn't that interesting? But but the thing is, is to keep it light and be playful. And that's why they're telling you to take a step back, okay, in order to see the bigger picture. Let's not get hung up on I'm standing, standing so close to everything and thinking we know. Because what it does is when you know that when you stand too close, you can't see everything. Because now the things... Like if you put your hands directly in front of your face, you can't see everything. If you push your hands out further, then you can see the whole hand. So don't don't block your, your sight. Okay, now we have another major arcana card, the High Priestess. And so this card is really asking you to, to, to pay attention to your intuition. So this kind of backs up what we were talking about in the beginning with the page, that this is going to be a very um, uh, heightened week of, of, of information, intuitive information coming through. And you have the wisdom and the, the, the knowing 
to, to channel your, your natural. So pay attention to how you naturally uh, operate. You are someone who's very intuitive. Your feelings are very much a, a form of true guidance for you, and you can trust that. So can don't override your your feelings, your intuitive, your intuition, and take your time. It says have patience, the card. Take your time, and you know go with the flow. Be a very much aware of how things are flowing, and that will indicate to you how you need to handle the situation. But this card is also, I'm getting a sense that you're going to be like a high priestess. People are going to come to you for the information. So you've really got to stay um, grounded and centered, you know, um, connect with your inner goddess, connect with the, the, you know, pay attention to the cycles of the moon, pay attention to your own body, your, you know, the moon has its different cycles. So pay attention to your own inner cycles as well. Um, you know, you should get to know yourself in terms of um, how you, what triggers you, like, like you know, when are you in the waning or waxing or the fullness of your, of yourself, and what situations place you in that fullness or that waning or waxing, and 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 then those that aspect where you are waning situations cause you to feel like you're waning, then you know that you. You need to, to, in that situation, then maybe be on a more of um, reflective aspect of, and and vice versa. So just take those kinds of things into consideration. But this card is really indicating you have that wisdom and that you, you're going to need to tap into it this week in order to have the outcome, the, the, the shift that it seems to be promised to us in, in the end of this, at the end of this week. Let me just tune into this card and just see if there's anything else coming uh, in about this card, the High Priestess. Hmm. So I'm seeing what I believe is a calf. And this um, represents some of the goddesses, like the goddess um, Hathor. Um, so... And the cow can also be a symbol of um, abundance. Okay, so um, so that's a good symbol as well. So really, um, really, really, they're just writing the word you. So really, really take care of yourself. Really. Uh, nurture yourself, okay, so that you're a nurturer, a healer, and there's an abundance of healing and an abundance uh, available to you right now. And so follow that guidance and trust it. Okay, so I want to thank everybody for, you know, all your comments and for, you know, everything that you have, um, all your prayers. And I send you lots of love and prayers in your own healing and your own evolution and so if you'd like to receive an angel reading or uh, be able to speak with me um, privately then you can go to my web page theangelschool.com which we'll find on the uh, in the description link below as well as some of you've been asking me about the divine roadmap um, sessions and so you can look into that that you can find on that page as well um also don't forget to join us on facebook for the daily card messages this monday and tuesday i will not be um doing the card messages but i will be back on wednesday um to do that so um i send you lots of love and angel blessings until next week god bless you all